You there, boy. Or girl, we're equal opportunity employers. Santa has heard you might be hiding some of my elves. Have you seen any elves running around here? Right over there. All that's a slow no. Oh, oh, oh. Don't mess with Santa. Santa's lazy. Santa doesn't want to do the work himself. Santa needs those elves. Santa wants those elves. And you're going to help Santa get those elves. You know why? Because I can't outsource all my production to China, can I? And all my virtual assistants to India. Oh, no, kids. Santa needs help. And you're going to help him get those elves. Because Santa is lazy. Let's go get those elves. All right, kids. Here's the deal. Santa needs those elves. You know why? Because Santa enjoys having slave labor. Oh, oh, oh sorry. So can, we, can we censor that? Can we change that in post? Uh, Santa likes employing young elves for candy canes. Oh, 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 oh. So you're going to help me find them. But what I'm going to do in exchange is I'm going to teach you to be as lazy as Santa. Oh, yeah. We're going to teach you the lazy vault. So you can get up and over objects like wages and overtime and clothing and food with nutrients. Yeah, we're gonna just gonna lazily get over all that stuff. So you too can get seven billion people presents or giant lumps of coal. All right, kids, so here's the deal. Teach you the lazy about you give me my elves. Everybody wins. You guys ready? Oh, 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 oh. But enough about you. All right. Lazy vault. There is a deal. When do you want to do a lazy vault? Why did my accent change? When do you want to do a lazy vault like Santa? You know, Santa, Santa may be lazy, but he's been working out. That's why he lost the good. He's going to come back later, though. Uh, even though we just had turkey day, which means it should be fat now. But that's beside the point. So, lazy vaults. Lazy vaults are nice. You know why? They are a vault unlike every other where I would vault at you and continue in a straight line. Sometimes, though, I'm running here, and there's a fence or an object in my way. And I don't want to be on this side of the object. Santa wants to be on this side of the object. Close to you. <laughs> Stop. All right. So what happens is Santa needs to be able to get over. But if I want to move over this way, I don't want to turn, jump over. Whoop. Hey, look, you fall. Turn again and then keep going. Sometimes I just want to pop over from one side to the other. So what's Santa go... Oh my god! Don't look at Santa's bald spot. Don't look at Santa's bald spot. You could award Santa, you bum. Right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to learn how to move in a linear direction, but laterally, side to side, move ourselves over. Alright, first you're going to get your big belly, you're going to throw it over, and that's how you get there. Sound good? Sweet to tell about where my elves. No? Okay. Oh, oh. Wait, right over there. You know the dang thing that stinks about being Santa? Is uh, your beard keeps going in your open mouth every time you talk. It does not taste good. All right, let's break down this lazy vault. So, last time we learned how to do our thief vault. We would swing our outside leg, swing our inside leg underneath. We're going to basically do the exact opposite. Oh, God, this hair is all in my mouth. But we're going to do it while going sideways. So as I'm running, I'm here. I want to move to this side. Whoop, 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 whoop. And there's kind of our lazy vault. All right, but before we get into all the entire breakdown, let's do our 60 seconds. Can we put 60 beautiful snowflakes on the clock? Oh my God, maybe I'll take you home, you're a magic elf. All right, so 60 second breakdown. As we come into our object, it is the side of our body that is closest to the object that is going to plant down on the ground. What we're going to be doing is swinging that same leg. If I swing that same leg up, I'm going to go in a straight line. I want to move over. So as I come, I'm going to reach over with my left hand, swing that left leg over, leaning my body this way. I'm going to take this block, throw it behind me, switch off the hand, planting it down. And at that point, my other leg will be following me up. So if I swing that left hand, left leg, whoop. Swap into right hand, right leg, step down, and run out of it. Make sure when you do it, you really lean and throw to the side because the last thing you want to do is come down and hit your little boo boo. By the way, confirmed. Confirmed. Hey, are you an elf? 
I need more elms. No? I'm paying candy canes. Elf Lamer! Elf Lamer! Fire! Fire! Santa needs more elves! Hurry up! Wait up! I got order! Oh, Santa knows fire corner! Screws now! <laughs> oh! Free stuff! <laughs> Woo! Where are you going? Hey guys, I'm cool Santa. Oh man, these things fog up quick. Oh my god, I can't see anything. The hot breath from my beard is so foggy. You know why? Because Santa's so hot. That's messed up. If only Santa knew some type of way to get up and over this object. But alas, Santa does not. He only knows lazy vaults. All right, time for Santa to break down this lazy bolt for you. So, we're gonna be running in with speed, just like when we do a stride, we're really swinging that knee to give ourselves some extra height and oomph, but in this case, most of the time, we are swinging a straight leg. Now, on a low object, I can swing a completely straight leg as long as there's enough height that I can get my leg over. Sometimes we've gotta swing the knee and then kick the foot. Remember, as we do this, we are swinging our leg up and over to give momentum to pull ourselves laterally. All right, the wider your object is, the harder this is going to be, and the more power you're gonna need when you do it. So as I come here, a good way to practice on a softer object is just set my hand down, swing that inside leg, and try to land as far on this side as I can, boop, in a sitting position. From here, you can see my hand is now behind my back. It's not still here to the side, it's moving behind me. I'm gonna swap to my opposite hand. Basically, I'm trading off behind me as if I was super cool and do like nunchucks and a pass behind my back, okay? As I place my right hand down, I'm gonna continue that push to the side and behind me diagonally. So I'm still getting forward momentum, but I'm also pushing myself to the side. When this happens, whichever leg I want, I'm going to drop to the ground first, leaving the other leg up, much like our split step out in our thief vault. From here, as I push off, I can lean forward into my step and continue my run. The whole goal for this thing is that I'm keeping the forward momentum while moving to the side. I come in, boop, and I run out. Now, there is one thing here that you have to make your personal choice for, and that is which leg is gonna go on the ground first. And there's two variations, okay? So as I come, I swing my right leg up first. I can bring that leg up. As my left leg comes up, I can then switch the feet. So the leg that went first, it goes whoop, Whoop. And here I land, right foot followed by left foot. Or, whoo, I can switch this a lot like a speed vault. I can swing the right leg up, bring the left leg underneath, set it down, and then run out. It really depends on which one you want to do and which leg you feel more comfortable. For myself personally, I like to swing my leg up bring the other leg underneath, and then set the one that's underneath down first. So Santa likes to come in, drop that foot, and run. That just allows me to be as lazy as possible. And as we all know, Santa likes that. That's why he employs slave, I mean elf labor. Everybody knows that. Swing the leg up, other foot slides underneath, drop the foot down, push off diagonally, both back and to the side, lean and step forward, and run out of it. Again, as always, a very common mistake is people do not give themselves enough lean to get over and they come up uh, and they clip that hip. No big deal on a block, no fun on a bar, no fun on concrete. Now in our white rank parkour tutorial that was taught by somebody who wasn't me, I'm, my hat, you, you didn't tell me again. Luxurious main. Mm. Oh man, it's just getting crazier and crazier. Santa forgot what he was saying. Do you remember what Santa was saying? He got distracted by how good he looks in the mirror. Santa's been on that Jenny Craig. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, so lazy vaults. Ah, yeah. In the white ring parkour tutorial, we went over our lazy vaults on a rail. That one, although your hands must be very precise, is easy because the rail's only two inches wide. It's very easy to make that distance. 
this one is much wider, an actual vault. So when you do it, pop one hand, pop the second hand, really pop yourself to the side so you can make that distance. All right, make sure you go online and you give the Firestorm boys a nice little present with a hitting that notification bell, the subscribe thing. It's have a nice little thing like, I thought Santa was really funny, although that guy's kind of a ho, 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 you know, things like that. You hit the like button, big thumbs up, and uh, we go hunt some elves. I think there's a summertime elf in there. Let's go get it. Let's go finish it up. <laughs> summertime, summertime, summer, summer, summer. <laughs>